Hi guys, it's Chris. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And to all the not new people, hey. Okay, this is going to be a short one today. I did a look using mostly new products that we've got or I've gotten in the boxes. Um, I used this Pat McGrath. Uh, So I use this one here, and it's called <sighs> Used Without Caution. Yeah, okay. So, and I also used her lipstick, which is, I think it's Christy. Yeah, it's Christy. Um, then uh, for the bronzing, I used the Too Faced. Um, Dennis and Myrix, uh, she has the balm that you can, it says put anywhere on your body, but it's also, you know, a highlighter. It's very subtle. I like this one. Um, Tower 28 was the actual blush, which I'm not sure I like the color. It's easy to put on. It's a, a cream, um, but let's see, the color is called happy hour I'm just I don't know you know I I'm not sure yet then I used Gwen Stefani's um, pencil called the Anaheim line for my lips uh, I had not used this yet I've had it forever but I used this and boy when they tell you it grips it grips. This is this is really really super nice. Um, I wish I'd been using it earlier. Uh, for my eyes, this came in. It's either KC Collection or YC Collection. It it could be either or. Let me see if they. Mm, no, they don't say it again. But it's this one right here. It's it's a nice one. Then I used Gwen Stefani's um, mascara, which is Can't Stop Staring. And uh, the eye pencils. For the blue, let me add a little bit more of that. Or turquoise or whatever this is. This is Urban Decay. It's the 24-7, and it is in, let me see, Deep End. Okay. And then for the black, uh, this is the Revolution Coal Eyeliner. This was a dollar, and it's an awesome liner. Just a little thought there. I set my face with the MAC Fix Plus and Lavender, and... Oh, one more thing. I left this to last. I was super excited that we got the Ciate London uh, powder. I believe it's a setting powder. Yeah, setting powder. Uh, I tried it yesterday and I ended up, I mean, I hated it because it was all clumpy. I, I don't know what happened, but I used it today and it was fine. It, you know, I guess... I it did something wrong, which is, you know, it's usual, so <laughs> no problem. So that's what's going on here. Now, I wanted to show you this. Uh, this is Charlotte Tilbury. This was a, it's not a called the bundle, I guess it's a, like a, it's just a set that they put together. And, um, Okay, it has, and I was a little disappointed because of the cost of this, but this is some of her setting spray that everybody's been using. Uh, it's not that big. Then we have, uh, now this is super small. Um, this is a blush duo, I think. Blush and glow. Let's... It, it's in 
fair, medium, or pale moyen. And you know, for as much as this costs, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to make it out. But this is crooked, and there's a lump in the middle, like someone just slapped it on here, and let's go on to the next. Which I found, it's like, you know, that's not cool considering. Uh, let's see. There we go. I mean, the packaging itself is really good. It keeps the products safe. and But it doesn't... I have to open that side. It doesn't... When you order this, it's deceiving. It doesn't look like it's... One of my kitties is sick. Um, uh, it doesn't look like it's going to be this size. Dang it, I, I'm really having trouble getting this thing out of here. There, is that it? Did I get it? Yes. Okay. This is, I don't know, you know, this is how small it is. And, uh, There's, uh, it, it's coming off bigger on the camera than it really is. This is tiny. Then the last thing, this is why I think they have the sets going on. It's because of the, uh, the Beautyverse palette. A beautifying filter for your eyes looks like this on the outside I mean her packaging and like I don't let's see if I can get this closer for you so you can see the front you know it's beautiful they, they do an awesome job with that but I don't know okay this is the uh, front of it, you could just like look at it and be mesmerized. Let me see if I can even right there. I mean, you get all the colors when you uh, you have to have it in your hand in order to see it. Oh, hold on. Excuse me. Okay. And this is the palette. Now, I'm not quite understanding why they have all three of these. No breakup of anything, no, just all shades of brown. I'm assuming they have different shades. These look identical to me, but that doesn't mean they are. This one looks a little darker. Anyway, so that is it. And, uh, for the price of this box, uh, I don't think it was worth it. That That's just my opinion. So, I don't know. Hey, if you have, if any of you have any of these three products, could you let me know down below and tell me what you think of them? Because, yeah, uh, I, I'm just not not happy with them. So, that's it for now. I um, hope you have a great Sunday. And wherever you are, I hope you are well. Take care. Have some fun. Stay safe. Check your surroundings. You guys know. And I will see you on the next video. Bye, guys.